What is going on guys? Akeem Lewontin here filling in for Sydney Goodman. Today's Daily Fix is presented by GameStop. The Empire Strikes Fortnite, a Squidward spinoff, and Pokemon Sword and Shield is finally out! Yay! Let's do this! Are you guys still playing Fortnite? You are. Are you? And you're not being forced to? Well that's good because now you can use the Force, or whatever stormtroopers use in battle. Fortnite just got a Stormtrooper skin, which is available for a limited time, just in time for the release of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It's pretty cool because now you can strike back at the Empire. But beware, because the Empire could easily strike back. See what I did there, guys? That's how it works in these types of games anyways, am I right? I don't know about you, but I've always wanted to play as a Stormtrooper. I want to do it because it's fun fun to do bad things. More importantly, dance as a stormtrooper. You know, ever since I saw that one viral video of the stormtroopers dancing and twerking, man, it was weird, but they had the right idea. Now you can recreate that very same viral video in Tilted Town or Moisty Mire. Moisturize me, moisturize me. I don't even think you can do the twerk in Fortnite. Can, can you do the twerk in Fortnite? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. There's plenty of other dance maneuvers to choose from. The Empire's arrival onto the island is accompanied by a hovering star destroyer high in the sky. So use excessive force. This probably is just the beginning of the Star Wars themed items coming to Fortnite. If they do decide to put a lightsaber in the game, I'm gonna flip. There will be no reason for me to feed my need to bleed from the speed of an LED screen playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order when I can get my lightsaber fix from Fortnite. Yes, Fortnite! I'm, am I the only one that's excited for Fortnite? Probably. Now I know that's crazy talk, guys. I'll be happily playing both games, no doubt. What's your thoughts on this? Are you guys more excited to play as a stormtrooper in Fortnite or a Jedi in Fallen Order? Argue your point counterpoints down below. Now, I know we just covered SpongeBob news just the other day, but my poorest buddy just keeps finding his way back into our aquatic hearts. Actually, it's not news about him per se, it's SpongeBob adjacent news. Squidward is getting a spin-off sometime in the distant or near future. You like, like that, guys? I, I know you guys saw that coming. I mean, the folks at Nickelodeon have worked out a deal with the streaming giant Netflix to bring our clarinet playing grumpy sea creature into our homes and hearts. My dream needs love to <laughs> According to the New York Times, Nickelodeon will make a quote, SpongeBob SquarePants, end quote, spinoff for Netflix as part of a multi year content production deal. You guys see how I just quoted SpongeBob, what, whatever. Anyways, I think someone's feeling the heat from Disney Plus, maybe. I need it! The unconfirmed Squidward spinoff will be a music-based project, so expect numerous tunes from that clarinet. <laughs> All right, so we're expected to sit through a 30-minute show of him playing that thing? Wow. Well, you know what? Whatever the case may be, I use Google Chrome for all my streaming services. And now it's more important than ever to do so with this announcement of a future SpongeBob spinoff because, as we all know, everything is Chrome in the future. Indeed it is, SpongeBob. Indeed it is. I don't know what voice that was. Anyways, expect this a SpongeBob SquarePants prequel and, of course, the upcoming SpongeBob SquarePants movie all sometime in the near future. Future. Okay, I'll stop, guys. Sorry. Pokemon Sword and Shield is finally out, but the big question is, which one are you going to get? Well, luckily, I'm here to save you and to break down the differences between the two games. In Pokemon Sword, you'll encounter the fighting type gem, led by B. But in Pokemon Shield, you'll encounter the ghost type gem, led by Alistair. As far as Pokemon Go goes, Pokemon Sword will exclusively carry. So Dino, Jangmo O. Oh man! Oh my goodness! Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take this one at, at a time. Dino, Jangmo Mo, <laughs> Jangmo O, Gothita, Rufflet, Farfetched, its evolution Surfetched, Mawile, Mawili, Mawile, and Turtonatate, <laughs> Turtonator, Turnt Onator. <laughs> Turn Onator, Mawile, and Turtonator. 
Meanwhile, Pokemon Shield will exclusively carry Larvitar, Gumi, Solosis, Sol Solosis, Solosis, Volibi, Galarian Ponyta, Ponyta, okay, Galarian Ponyta, Sableye, and Drampa. Oof, man. How many of these do you think we might have messed up, though? And of course, you can look forward to capturing Zacian, the sword-carrying Pokemon in Pokemon Sword, and Zamazenta, the shield-covered Pokemon in Pokemon Shield. Which Pokemon game are you planning on getting? Let us know down below. Pokemon Sword and Shield are now available at GameStop. And that was your daily fix for November 15th. I'm Akeem Lawanson, and it's payday, guys. Time to eat like a king named Akeem who rules supreme, but only on Steam because I'm kind of lean, you notice? You want to me to stop? You do. Uh, well, don't be mean. I mean, now that you're all caught up on the news, check out Nine Essential Combat Tips for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Subscribe to The Daily Fix on Snapchat. And for all things, everything else, follow me on Twitter. Uh, it's Geek Heavy. It's at Geek Heavy. I'll, I'll see you over there. Twitter time. Yeah. <laughs>